Fentanyl overdoses continue increasing in the valley, but the El Centro Fire Department will soon put a new program to the test. Karina Bizarte has the details. Two nasal sprays just like this one will be distributed to victims right after an overdose. It's all part of saving their lives. To get Narcan out on out on the uh, out in the community to help facilitate um, the availability of the necessary medication to reverse these these overdoses. The program is called the Narcan Leave Behind program, and the way it works is by leaving a nasal spray to an illegible patient after an overdose. The Central Fire Chief says fentanyl overdoses are increasing. And just yesterday, the fire department received about five calls. And today, I was able to witness one. We're en route to a possible overdose. We have a female unresponsive, unknown as she's breathing. When we arrived, the 21 year old was on the floor unresponsive. Paramedics used two Narcans and had to insert an IV in order for her to respond. She was later taken to El Centro Regional Medical Center. This is uh, something that we run into all the time, and uh, uh, this is the exact reason, you know, why that we're, we're beginning to participate in, the, in the uh, Leave Behind Narcan program or Leave Behind the Naloxone program. If we would have not intervened with this patient in the next uh, maybe three to five minutes, she would have passed away and it would have been a completely different scenario and it would have been a uh, body recovery instead of a rescue. The fire department hopes to start the program in a couple of weeks. As a paramedic, you know, you're just happy that you can arrive on scene and you have the ability and the tools necessary to, to help them out in these cases. And again, this program will add an extra... Um, piece to that puzzle. Reporting from El Centro, I'm Karina Basarte.